Today marks 10 years since the passing of the late Prime Minister Mela Zenawi, who is remembered for his great role in elevation of poverty and spearheaded a remarkable economic growth in Ethiopia. Mela Zenawi was born in May 1955 from his father Zenawi Asras and his mother Alimash Gabralul in the town of Adwa. He studied his elementary school in Queen of Sheba in his hometown and later won a scholarship and went to General Winget High School in Addis Ababa. After completing high school in 1972, he joined medical school in Addis Ababa University, the then Haile Selassie University, where he studied for two years. He would then drop out at the age of 19 to join the armed struggle of the Tigray People's Liberation Front in overthrowing the military dictatorship in Ethiopia. Following the downfall of the military regime in 1991, Meles was elected transitional president of the country and later in 1995 he would become the prime minister of Ethiopia. In his time of leadership, he spearheaded the country's rapid development, encouraging both domestic growth and foreign investment. As his government spent heavily on infrastructure and rural development and actively sought foreign private investment, this would bring about double-digit economic growth in Ethiopia, a country previously known for famine and poverty. Developing access to education and healthcare were among the top priorities of the late prime minister. His leadership would be successful in increasing education coverage from 20% to 85% across the country, and the number of universities would also increase from 2 to more than 50, making education more accessible to the millions in Ethiopia. The late Prime Minister's achievements do not end here. Ethiopia's comprehensive, climate-resilient and green economy strategy designed under his leadership was also a success. He believed that Ethiopia, as well as Africa, needed to embrace a low-carbon, resource-efficient green economy as a central pathway for sustainable development. This was mainly manifested in planting hydroelectric powers such as Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, Takaza Hydroelectric Power, Gilgalgibe Hydroelectric Powers and many more, enabling the country to be electric power exporter to neighboring countries. Meles is also remembered for his strong commitment to Africa's integration. He served as a chairperson of the Organization for African Unity, later named African Union from 1995 to 1996, and his tenure as a chairperson of NAPAD, heads of state and government orientation committee, and his support to African Union's peacekeeping missions, such as his efforts to end the conflict in Sudan and South Sudan, in cooperation with EGAD, are further illustration of his commitment to the continent. Meles is specifically well known for his fight against climate change and his passion on building a sustainable development. In 2009, he represented Africa in world climate talks in Copenhagen, where he was able to negotiate a great deal of financial support for developing countries. He had obtained the promise of 100 billion US dollars annually from developed countries, where they would pay for schemes to help poor countries adapt to the climate change and develop their economies using clean technology. Catastrophic. Climate change is very real. The science is as clear as it could ever be as to what the cause of such change are. It is no exaggeration to say that this is our best and perhaps our last chance to save our planet from destructive and unpredictable change. Mela Zinawi would receive several awards for his efforts, such as the Rwanda's National Liberation Medal, the Uruti, in July 2009, for helping end the genocide in the country. He also received the Norway-based 2005 Yara Prize for Green Revolution for initiating a good foundation for an economic progress in Ethiopia. He was also given the Africa Political Leadership Award of 2008 by Africa Times, US-based newspaper, and many awards more. A profoundly sorrowful loss for Ethiopia, for Africa, and for the entire world. We join you in mourning and paying tribute to a great man, a great son of Ethiopia who is also ours as a continent. Mela Zenawi, the much respected leader among Ethiopians, even 10 years after his death, remains remembered for his remarkable legacies.